Turkey is constructing the Çanakkale 1915 Bridge, the soon-to-be longest suspension bridge in the world. Currently, there is only one regional link between Asian and European Turkey, through three bridges and a tunnel in the congested megacity of Istanbul. Meanwhile, the Dardanelles Strait is less than 4 kilometers wide and 50 meters deep, with zero physical connections across it. For this reason, a bridge is being built across the Dardanelles Strait. The idea for a bridge was first introduced in 1989. In 1995, the Turkish government held an offer for its construction. However, the company who won it withdrew, stating that a bridge was unfeasible. Despite this, in the mid-2010s, the project was reintroduced. The company Pyeonghwa Engineering Consultants confirmed the project's feasibility and produced a basic design. Then, another offer was held, and on January 26, 2017, the company's Dalim, SKENC, Lima Holding, and Yape Merkezi won construction contracts. The company COWI won the contract for the bridge's design, and the companies Parsons and Techfin won bids for engineering consultancy and supervision. With everything in place, on March 18, 2017, groundbreaking began. The Chinakale 1915 bridge will be 3,563 meters long, making it the longest bridge in Turkey, 881 meters further than the current record holder, the Osman Ghazi Bridge. The structure's foundations are submerged caissons, 40 and 48 meters deep. The towers they support are 318 meters tall, slightly shorter than the Eiffel Tower. These heights will make the connection the second tallest bridge in Turkey and the sixth tallest bridge in the world. The bridge's height, 318 meters, is symbolic. It commemorates the Turkish naval victory against the British on March 18, 1915, outside of the nearby city of Çanakkale. This battle is further commemorated by the structure's name. The bridge's towers will create a 2,023-meter-long central span, the longest in the world, 32 meters longer than the current record holder on the Akaskaikyo Bridge in Japan. Like the tower heights, this central span length is also symbolic. It commemorates the centennial anniversary of the Turkish Republic. In addition to the central span, the bridge will also have two 770-meter-long smaller spans that will connect the towers to the land. Lastly, the bridge's reinforced concrete deck will be 45 meters wide, with a max thickness of 3.5 meters. It will carry three traffic lanes in each direction and two maintenance walkways. It will have a max vertical clearance of 69.3 meters, allowing large ships to pass through. To top it all off, on each side of the bridge, there will be 680 and 365 meters of approach viaducts, bringing the connection's total length to 4,608 meters. The Çanakkale 1915 bridge will be painted red and white, reflecting the colors of Turkey's flag. It will take five years to construct at a total cost of approximately 20 billion Turkish lira, or 2.7 billion US dollars. This money is being funded by 24 financial institutions from 10 countries around the world, with a term length of 15 years. The Çanakkale 1915 bridge will be the centerpiece of the 321-kilometer-long, $4.7 billion Kinale Balıkesir motorway, which will be the first motorway in Turkey outside of Istanbul to connect Europe and Asia. Further out, the bridge is a part of Turkey's Vision 2023 program, a massive national development project. The Çanakkale 1915 bridge will have many benefits. First of all, it will divert traffic away from Istanbul, decreasing congestion in the national capital. It will also provide a direct physical link between Europe and Western Turkey, boosting economic development and tourism in the region. In addition, it will improve trade for freight traveling through Turkey, benefiting countries throughout Europe and Asia. Moreover, it will increase connectivity between European and Asian Turkey, 
allowing the Dardanelles to be crossed in just four minutes by car, compared to the current 33-minute commute by ferry. Furthermore, it will boost the economies of Gelibolu and Lapsaki and create approximately 4,000 new jobs. On top of all this, by increasing transport efficiency, it will cut CO2 emissions, positively affecting the environment. Lastly, it will be a feat of engineering, the longest suspension bridge in the world, connecting two continents. Unfortunately though, the bridge does have several problems. First of all, the region is a seismic zone. The bridge would have to withstand high magnitude earthquakes. In addition, there are concerns about the structure's aerodynamic stability. Lastly, the bridge would render most ferries across the strait useless, resulting in job losses. Fortunately, the first two problems have been addressed. The foundations have been built to withstand tremors, and a split deck design is being used to safely deal with high speed winds. As for the ferries, this is a minor sacrifice that cannot be avoided. Since construction started in March 2017, the Chinakale 1915 bridge has advanced. In late 2017, a dry dock began construction for the caissons. Meanwhile, groundwork started on both sides. By late 2018, the dry dock was complete, and in early 2019, the caissons began construction and work started on the approach viaducts. In May 2019, the two 66,000 ton caissons were immersed in the strait. Two concrete blocks were then stacked on them, followed by several tower sections. Then, in November 2019, two special cranes were transported out into the strait, and in early 2020, they began assembling the towers. In 2020, despite the coronavirus pandemic, construction has continued. By May 2020, the cranes had finished assembling the towers and the approach viaducts were complete. As of January 2021, catwalks are now being assembled to help with the installation of the suspension cables. These catwalks are over 70% complete and are planned to be finished by February 2021. After this, the 41,000 tons of steel cable will be installed, followed by the 700-ton, 48-meter-long deck blocks, which will be craned up and attached to the cable. The approach viaducts will then be connected, and the bridge will be complete. Originally, the Chinakale 1915 bridge was planned to be opened on March 18th, 2023. However, due to speedy progress, Turkey now hopes to have it finished a full year earlier, by March 18th, 2022. Once complete, the bridge will be operated by its four construction contractors for 16 years and two months, before being handed over to the Turkish government. Once finished, the Chinakale 1915 bridge will serve as a feat of engineering, gloriously connecting the European and Asian provinces of Turkey across the Dardanelles Strait. If you enjoyed this video, it would be amazing if you like and subscribe for more videos very similar to this one. Also, remember to check out the comments and join the conversation. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.